Hi, I'm Kara Barno. Welcome. I want to talk to you today about um, stream of consciousness. Really, I want to talk to you today about courage. And it's it's in your courage that you make your most brilliant decisions. But I think we all sometimes get hung up in fear. But it can be fear of different things. It can be fear of failure, fear of being laughed at. But your gift, I believe, hides in your fear. Your fear comes from your shadows. When you're growing up, the parts of you that people found unacceptable, the bruises created those fears within you. We're all good at all good at something. We all have a passion and a purpose. I'm really good at, I can spot trends a mile away. You know, in fact, my latest trend that I've been watching is coaching, how, how coaching is, is changing dramatically, how social media has changed the world. Um, I can understand why people do what they do. I can talk to people and figure it out pretty quickly. I can go into a room and I can read the room in seconds and tell you the vibration of it. I take two steps forward, but I take three steps back. I start doing something and I stop. I, I'm constantly questioning myself. So I had to figure out why don't I have the courage? Why don't I have the courage to continue to move forward? What holds me back? And I realized it's, it's a fear but it's the fear of what happens if I'm wrong. I fear being wrong. My whole life, people have listened to me and in some cases followed me. And it has worked out negatively in a weird thing. In fact, I was talking to somebody earlier today at the office and I was giving an example how I went to Vegas. Um, my husband and I went with my parents and my dad was you know, gambling on one of the machines and he just wasn't winning. And he turned around and he says, I'm not winning on the machine. And I said, well then move. If you're not winning on that machine, just move to another machine. To me, that seemed pretty obvious. And he moved to another machine. Of course, somebody sat down and they won. And he's like, see, I listened to you. If I wouldn't have listened to you, I would have won. Well, at that age, I didn't realize you still have choice. Um, growing up, I would tell people, well, let's do this and we would do that and it wouldn't work out well. And they'd be like, because I listened to you, you were wrong. And then I'll start coaching people and people will come back. In fact, I just... I just coached about 15, 20 different people over the past couple months. And one person came back and said, well, you were wrong. I listened to you and you were wrong. And that had a profound impact on me. So I stop. Because I don't take the time in my mind. I get so caught up in this hamster wheel, so caught up in the ego of staying safe, that I get, I get caught up in the, um, what happens if I cause harm? What happens if I give somebody advice on a trend and I'm wrong? What happens if I tell somebody, I think this is your, or I, I don't tell people, we help heal your childhood shadow imprint, and you come back and say, well, you were wrong, that wasn't it, it was something else. But I had to remember last night when I was up all night, I slept for an hour and a half because the universe was just doing a stream of conscious downloading to me, that it's freedom of choice. If, you're, if I'm wrong, you have the choice to listen or not. And was I wrong, or did you not like what I said, so you said it was wrong? I'll never know but I know I have to have courage and I have to have more courage than I've had I have to show up more than I've had showed up I love childhood shadow imprints I love teaching people I love my my five-step online course I developed but I get right up there and then I'm, I'm afraid that I'll be wrong so here's to not being wrong or I guess here's to being wrong but understanding that it's still a human experience your gift is in your fear Figure out what it is you truly fear. Now we all hide behind, I fear the phone ringing. We all hide behind fear of failure, but it's deeper than that. Because when I was talking, the person said, well, maybe you're afraid of failure. I start, I've ran an association for 20 years. I have fallen off stages. I have bounced checks. I have failed you know, in front of legislators. I've tripped over stuff. I have failed cataclysmically. So it wasn't that. It's the courage to really put myself out there is my fear. So look at what your courage, what your fear is, because in that fear is your gift. And if you find yourself moving forward and then stopping, or, or having an excuse that the universe is sending you in a different direction, so now I gotta go over here, or oh, I gotta take the summer off because the universe is telling me too much, or I have to take care of my loved ones so I can't do this or that, Every time we have an excuse, there's a fear behind that excuse. There's a reason for that excuse, and it's a fear. 
when you get to the bottom of your excuses, when you rip your soul open and you look inside to get to the bottom of your, and you'll understand. Now my phone's ringing. <laughs> this is crazy. See, I should have been a fear, but I don't have a fear of that happening. So look deep within. If you're not doing what you want to do, then I can help you. Let's look within your childhood shadow imprints or go to my website and download my five step program. If you have questions, please let me know. Please do not allow fear to stop you. You're here for a purpose. We are all here for a reason. And the more you hold yourself back, the longer it'll take you to get to your reason. Now, I do believe in perfect timing, and I do believe when it's your time, you'll get it all together. But maybe it's, maybe it's your time now. Stop and think, is it your time now? Is it your time now to have the courage to look at your fear? I think it is. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.